What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about a documentary called Rapid Response. I found this movie on Amazon Prime I believe. The reason I decided to watch it because I am a big fan of motor racing, you know, even though I don't have, you know, uh, I don't watch TV, but I still kind of follow a little bit on the internet, you know. I, I, I'm a uh, car enthusiast, I love cars, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to watch a documentary about safety uh, at the racetrack and why it is so important to to an average Joe, to your up-and-coming, uh, uh, you know, tra track uh, race, race driver. And this movie is a really, really, I mean, this documentary is really good, actually. It's well put, I'm just going to go right into the pro. It's well portrayed, well explained. The history is, it makes sense in chronological order. You get to see who was involved, how it all got started. It talked about the car design, all of that. It was really good. And... They point out the the problem, the issue, you know, the track, the the car itself, you know, that they're just they going at a, a, such a fast speed, you know, especially for those Formula One. They all drive all the crashes are Formula Ones. I mean, toward the toward the early I think the early eighties and seventies. After seventies are more. The uh, Formula One are becoming more aerodynamic, and what I find shocking is the sheer devastation when that car hit the wall. Like they literally hit the wall. It's like when they say I hit the wall, they hit the wall, and the sheer amount of devastation, the sheer amount of the force of impact is just astounding. You know, it's just amazing where there is one shot, there are a couple of of that uh, incident where you're just you're just mind blown. This one where the guy literally go to he I think he's trying to make an overturn, but I think he couldn't. And he literally went full scent. Like literally full scent went to the wall destroyed everything and and this movie or this documentary does not shy of not showing you where the person is and you see the the driver by just laying laying like you know just flopping and you see, and then there's one scene where he literally just his body is just laying over sliding across the uh, the the over track and it was just horrifying it was terrifying it was just shocking it was just you know just you just it made it made me pause like wow and these guys were going near 200 miles an hour and they hit the wall and they're some survive but most it depends on all this, the kind of, the kind of accident or the kind of impact that the car goes through, but if most of the time when the driver hit on head head impact, they tend not to survive, and uh, the injury is so severe. Uh, and then there are also this one thing where the guy has spun out, and then another car hit him. It basically it's like a T bone, a T bone hit. And the, just the sheer force, the sheer impact of that car hitting that car. It literally cut the guy's legs off above his knee. And that's how, that's how you know. Wow. Just by this force, the sheer, the sheer force and impact, the guy lost his leg. So that was just, it was devastating. And you, you get to see why safety was such an important measure. Uh, the pair, safety, uh, the safety measure was very important. And, you know, such that the, 
uh, how fast they respond, how fast they can get the, the guy out of to the hospital, how fast they retreat the guy at the spot, and how they, you know, uh, uh, built the car, how they record the, 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 the how the car uh, was impacted, you know, the G-force, the laterals, and the, the uh, verticals, and that sort of thing, and they really investigate what happened uh, before the car hit and after the car was hit. So they were really, these guys were really a response team and they were also scientists, you know, doing, you know, research before and after the accident. And it was just really mesmerizing really the, the workload that these team the safety team really takes on to really prevent you know, try to prevent uh, reduce the collateral uh damage to the drivers in in, in remote in, in most rate uh in these formula one races races so it was it was an eye-opening basically for you for me at least because i am a I'm a car enthusiast, I want to go racing or competitive racing, not a professional level, but on an amateur level. And this stuff made me realize that you got to take safety seriously because people have died just hitting the wall or spinning out and getting hit by other cars. So it is a serious matter. It is a serious concern. And that is why safety is important in all aspects of motor racing, whether that's amateur to professionals. So, what was the rating I give this movie? I give it an 8 out of 10. I found this movie educational, really well structured. They don't shy you from the, the harsh reality of the, the film itself, of the accident itself. But could they want you to see the consequences of a bad accident? That they want you to understand that safety is important and driver safety is important. So that's why I give it an 8 out of 10. It's a good documentary for your average person and for your regular automotive enthusiasts out there that safety is an important key for all, all level of motor racing. So, anyway guys, please like, thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channels. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. So, thank you. Take care guys. Bye-bye.